Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We're at Magic Kingdom today, taking you guys around and doing some of our favorite things today. I'm super excited about Peter Pan because that is one of my favorite rides in the whole park. Gonna hit up Haunted Mansion and Buzz today as well. Probably Pirates, that's one of my favorites. Definitely. And we're gonna be showing you some things that are coming here to the Magic Kingdom in 2023. So, come hang out with us. We are currently making our way through Tomorrowland to get on Buzz Lightyear, which is so much fun. I'm just saying hi to Stitch. So I found this article online that tells you how to get higher points. So apparently there's this like very specific targets on Buzz um, that you can hit, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to look it up while we're in line because you have to really position yourself really well. So maybe we'll actually get more than um, 180,000 today. Estella used to beat me on this ride, but now I have learned the tricks. Yeah. I've been kicking her butt, so yeah. let's see who gets the high score as well. Who do you think it'll be? I mean, I'm hoping me. I want to regain my uh, my power here. Drop a comment and let us know who you think is going to win Buzz. Are you ready, baby? So ready. Let's do it. top of the volcano and then there's the bottom of Zerg's ship, right? Yep. Yeah. It was awesome, you guys. We actually got Space Ace today, which is a first. Some of my favorite rides at Disney World are rides that are actually interactive and like games. So Buzz is always at the top because I can play, try to get a high score, beat a high score of the day, and we're getting better at it, so that's always fun. Right behind me is Tron Light Cycle Run, which is opening up spring of this year and I'm very excited for. It is gonna be one of the fastest coasters here at Disney World. And it's basically a clone of the ride they already have in Shanghai Disney that they're bringing here. And um, speculation is annual pass previews are gonna start in March. So if they do, we'll probably try and come and get on it. But very excited in one of the many things coming here in Magic Kingdom in 2023. If you're excited, let me know down in the comments. Are you going to be riding Tron this spring? We are on our way to Fantasyland. Woohoo! Peter Pan! Peter Pan time! I love that ride. It's like, it's just one of my favorite things because you're like in the ship but it's flying. And then you see the ships in front of you that are also flying so it really feels like you're actually flying over the city and everything else so I just love that ride it's so cool it really is beautiful and for a ride that's been here for so long it just never gets old nope. I don't know what it is about it it's just so magical and I really like Peter Pan the film so it's cool just being a, able to live it I I always loved Tinkerbell until I watched Peter Pan and now Tinkerbell and I are not friends sorry Tinkerbell is just a little bit like bitter and just I don't know. So mean. She is. She's mean. She's also she's like a murderer. I mean, <laughs> she tried to kill. Um, what's her name? Wendy. Wendy, like seven times. So Tink can be the only girl for Peter. She she crazy. I'm just saying she crazy. She, she's a little crazy. Yeah. All right, let's go ride Peter Pan, you all.
Festival of Fantasy Parade. Woo I'm so excited. This parade is beautiful. It is. We caught it the other day, like when we were headed in the park, and they have some really awesome floats, great characters. Yep. And it's really fun. You guys are going to love it. The floats are like crazy. They like, are crazy. Really legit cool. My so. favorite is they have a dragon float that breathes fire. Maleficent. And I love that. That is by far my favorite float. So come enjoy the parade with us. Also, something new coming in 2023, it's not a parade, but it is entertainment, is the fireworks show is going to be changing. Oh, yeah. And Happily Ever After will be coming back later this year, probably after the 50th anniversary is over. Oh, so, so this is replacing the, the 50th yeah. show? Yeah, so okay. the enchantment that's going on now was brought for the 50th anniversary and happily ever after we'll be back sometime after that is over i'm learning things learning we're all learning things if you're enjoying the video give it a like if you're learning come enjoy the parade Adventureland for our next favorite ride of the day, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. I love Pirates. It has a fun drop, 
great animatronics. Yeah. It's beautiful inside. I love the uh, the part with the cannons because the sky looks crazy and it's just awesome. I love that ride. All right, y'all, let's hop on Pirates of the Caribbean together. Woo! Let's do it. Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which I'm not sure when it's coming. It's probably going to take a year or two. I don't know if they announce when it's coming. I'll plug that in somewhere here. But it looks really cool. I'm excited for the change. I like Splash how it is. A lot of stuff's been down on it for a while though, so it's been needing an upgrade. And it'll be cool to have a new retheme to it. And I love jazz music, so it's going to have a cool soundtrack and seeing all the characters that we love from Princess and the Frog should be fun. So 2023 on January 23rd will be your last time to ride it. So if you are visiting, get on it while you can. Did we make a little friend at lunch? We, we heard him rustling back there and then he came out. What's his name? Russell. <gasps> I was thinking that! You stole my thought. I caught it. You, you, you thought it and I said it. <laughs> Our little friend Russell. Yep. <laughs> Circus and they had a little ring toss game set up. Yep. We did not win, but we did get a cute little sticker, so I'll take my little sticker. It's a lot harder than it looks, right? It really is. And that's something I feel like they always needed more of in this area or yep. many like carnival games. Yep. So it's kind of cool to see one set up on the side. If you're walking by, you might be able to catch. One thing Estella and I have been working on is getting over our fear of roller coasters. So we are hopping on Barnstormer, which has slowly started to become one of our favorite rides. Yeah, it was really fun the other day. Um, so we're gonna hop on Barnstormer next and ride that maybe once or twice. And the goal is to get good with doing that and slowly work our way up to other coasters here at Disney World. 
We came across this merch store. It's Big Top Souvenirs here in um, Storybook Circus. Yep. Never knew it was here, and it's really cool because it looks like you're in a circus tent. Yeah, it's actually really pretty. It really we, is. We we never like uh, we never noticed it because I think it closes at 4:30. Yeah. So every time we came, which was usually at night, it was closed already. It is. So we're gonna take a look around, see if they have any specific merch that's only in the store, and see what they have. I kind of found something. Thing I might want. So I used to do a lot of puzzles. Like I was your your typical puzzle girl. And then one day I was like, I hate puzzles. And then I haven't done a puzzle in like years. Years, yeah. And then about a week ago, I kind of started feeling like doing a puzzle. But really? I don't want like a 1,000 piece puzzle. No, I want 500. Like pleasurable, but not like you want to pull your hair out. And now, and not that it's gonna take four days, you know. And I kind of saw this one. It's a Star Wars Holiday 4-Pack puzzle set. So there's four of them. And they're 500 pieces each. And I think it's kind of cute. Look at the Ewok dress of Santa. So is this one of those, like, you complete a puzzle and take it apart to make another one? Or is it four different puzzles? No, it's four different puzzles. Okay. Yeah. So, really yeah. cool. I like it. Yeah, the Ewok up there. Oh, that's uh, the Christmas card, the Lucasfilm Christmas oh, card. that's what that is. This one's funny with the Jawas over here. Oh, of course, always taking something yeah. apart, right? They're probably stealing people's presents. And, and then, then here's R2 oh, getting a R2. present with, uh, with uh, 3PO. Cute. I like it. It's really cute. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Let's see what else we find in here. They have a ton of snacks in here too. They have a bunch of stuff in a little bakery section over there. And then we found a whole wall of popcorn here. I found confetti popcorn. That's that just, pretty cool. That just looks fun, right? That does look fun. Look at all the popcorn they have over here though. This looks good. So much. So lots of snackage in here. Lots of, if, you, if, you, if you're feeling snacky while you're at the circus. This is the place to come. Who doesn't get snacky at the circus? I know, right? Ooh, caramel chocolate. Oh, oh. but you lost me at sea salt. Oh. She hates caramel. If it has caramel and sea salt, she's no, out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I've been seeing these around and I don't know if they're new, but they're these like Mickey series and apparently there's 12 of them per area and it looks like specifically Magic Kingdom. And this is the circus one that's very cute. However, I think he's really cute. I don't, he's like cowboy, I assume Adventureland. And then over here you can see all the different series. They have one for Tomorrowland, the series one. Peter Pan Series 2, Series 3 is the teacups. And they're really cute. And I've been noticing too lounge flies per area as well. So it looks like with each series, they might have a bag to go along with it. That was a super adorable shop. They have a lot of snacks and so lots, of snacks. lots of snacks. The merch is what you find in a lot of the other stores. So yeah. nothing too new there or different. Right. Outside. Except for those, uh, the Mickey collectibles. Yeah, so if you're looking dolls. for those collectible series dolls, the two that are in there are exclusive to that shop in particular. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of the snacks and food you're going to find, you're not going to find anywhere else. Now, though, we are headed over to Winnie the Pooh. I'm really excited because I love that ride. We actually just watched the movie, um, the New Year's Winnie Pooh movie from, like, I don't know, a long time ago. And it's really cute. I love Winnie the Pooh because it's it's a lot more than what it seems. So, you know, it seems like just like a kid's cartoon, but it's a lot deeper than that. It's a lot deeper. And I love the ride. Bouncy Time with Tigger is my favorite, so I'm super excited for that. So let's go ride Winnie the Pooh. Maybe the Pooh. If you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. Pumps right out of the ride! Watch out for half a month in noodles. They steal honey. Steal honey? I'm so sick of the multiply. Oh, wow. Wow. So 
so far we've had a magical day. Right now we're actually heading over to the carousel. Nothing is more magical than a carousel for some reason, right? And this one here at Magic Kingdom is huge and every single horse is different. So let's do it. Such a fun day today doing all of our favorite things. All of our favorite things. Cue the song. I can't. <laughs> what was your favorite from today? Aww. So I was sad because Haunted Mansion was down all day. I don't know why it's not closed yep. for refurbishment. It's just been temporarily closed all day. We kept checking and hoping it would come back, but it didn't. My favorite today, I think, was Pirates. Oh, same. That Same. was my favorite today, yep. It was good. I really loved the parade today. We the, had yeah. great spots to see it. I got a little kiss from Chip, so I was very excited. <laughs> That's her, her chipmunk boyfriend. Um, but we had a blast. I hope you all did as well. Thank you for joining us today and let us know what is your favorite part about coming to 